Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 uh, PSN review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Pain. If you've never played the game before, it's uh, if you've ever played Flat Out, the mini game section of that, it's pretty much like that. whole point is you launch your character, but instead of having to launch him a certain height or something like that, you just launch him and you have to destroy the most amount of things. You have to cause yourself the most amount of pain and the whole city to get points. So that's pretty much that. Uh, there's all sorts of downloadable content for it, which I have, I'm just letting you know that now because what you're seeing isn't just the original game, I will point out what's downloadable and it's basically things like characters for 69p and stuff like that. So, the game has incredibly long loading times, so I'm just going to ask Panda to cut it. So there we go, loading time's done. At the start, you pretty much you just have the crash course extras and community unlocked. Basically, crash course is training. You've got to go through it to unlock everything. And take your time because when I done it, I thought I was finished and I wasn't finished, and I had to go through all of it again. So make sure you're actually bloody finished because otherwise it can be a right pain. Um, no pun intended. Extras, you've just got things like controller where you can like choose invert aim and you can just view your controller controls. You've got audio stuff like that and credits. Community, actually, if you are connected to the internet, which obviously you have to be to download the game, but if you're still connected, then yeah, it just basically takes you to the official PN forum. So from there, you can go on the trophy room, and the trophy room basically tells you the achievements that you need to do to unlock things. Multiplayer is obviously multiplayer where you just take turns, and then single player. You start with one mission, and I believe the others are all downloadable content, unfortunately. You then get Pandemonium, Mime Toss, and Spank the Monkey. And fun with explosives is a downloadable content thing, but it is free at the moment. It might not be by the time you're watching this. So I'm just going to play Spank the Monkey with Hung Lo, who is a downloadable character, and that is the closest thing I'm going to get to a dirty thing in my reviews with being real. So it's staying in. But anyway, the whole point of the Spank the Monkey mode is there's monkeys all over the place, and you just have to hit them. So on your launch pad, you've got the analog now to pull back and the likes, and then you just try and hit them. So, that's that. You just literally do that, you do as many as you can in the time limit. Well, to be fair, I think you've got 12 to do, and you have to do it in the fastest time limit you can do. And that's that. So, just going to have Panda cut into the normal game, because the normal game is where it's at. So, there we go then. This is just the main game. The whole point is, as I say, you just have to destroy things, like the hotel over there, you can knock things off and stuff like that and you just destroy things for points and then you go for your best run. Um, as soon as you launch, if you hold up, you'll get a lot of height behind you so you'll be able to travel much further than you normally would. Um, triangle, square, circle and X are grabs. They're basically vertical, horizontal and like so like you go holding triangle is an up grab, holding X is down, etc etc. When you launch, if you hold the L1 or L2 button on one of those buttons, then you do style and things. So, for example, Superman like this, or just flat out, well, spread out completely. So, that's that then. There's all sorts of different ones today, there's all sorts of daft funny ones today. Um, you can hold R2 at any point to have an overhead view and the like, so, say for example, you've just landed on the road or something like that, and you want to see if a car's coming, so you can grab onto it to get more points, or stuff like that. Uh, you can also push select at any one point to completely reset the city. So everything goes back to normal. As you can see, the hotel's now different, the well, the ball and ball's back up there. And to be fair, I haven't shown you this. There is, for some unknown reason, one of the monkeys on here as well. And it's quite fun just trying to hit him for the hell of it. Um, after you hit something, if you shake the PS3 pad, the six axes, then you get what's known as a super ooch. And that basically means that you can blast yourself in a certain direction if you use any of the directions on the D-pad. If you don't, then as soon as you hit something, you still get the normal ooch, and again, that just means you can move over, but you don't go as powerful, or as far or anything like that. It's basically, as I see it, this is 100% just a direct rip-off of uh, that flat-out game. I can never remember its name, but it is flat-out, it's just the, the mini-games on that, but it's so much fun. It's one of them that's just, when you first start getting it, you'll play it for a little bit and think, well, now this is boring, this is boring, and then you'll discover something new about the city that's that you can just get so many points from and you can also just have so much fun as a party game just taking turns trying to outdo each other or trying to just hurt each other, hurt your character as much as you can so there's definitely a lot for you to do there there's uh, as I say loads of characters that you can buy if you want to or you can just like play with the standard character it doesn't really matter 
and you can unlock different costumes for this character. You can also unlock the Aftermath mode, and the Aftermath mode is just very simply like the city but partially destroyed because it's what's happened two months after you were gone, stuff like that, you know? So, don't really know what else is to say though. Um, by doing those special moves, you may notice I'm getting things like style and awards, which just simply give you a few more points, and it also gives you another multiplier. Because every time you hit something, that goes onto your multiplier, and that gives you more points. So, the more things you hit, chances are the more points you're going to get. You can also hold triangle to just do replays of things, so, like that, that's my last run. To be fair, I'm not actually doing anything, any major runs or anything like that, I'm just messing about at the moment, because that's pretty much the best thing about the game. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.